Whether you're visiting Richmond or are a local, today I'm going to unveil five hidden gems you must visit in Richmond, Virginia. Make sure to watch to the end because the last hidden gem is our favorite and it even surprises local Richmonders every time I mention it. Hey, it's Lauren Z. Ray in RVA and I'm absolutely obsessed with Richmond, so on this channel you're going to see travel tips and vegan food, so make sure to subscribe for more. All right, let's go. Welcome to the Hollywood Cemetery here in Richmond. And before you question the name, it was established in 1847, long before Hollywood, California, for its holly berry trees. And it's a very windy day if you can't tell, so bear with us on the audio. So why is this a gem? So many reasons, but mostly because of the epic views. Like you can see the James River from up here, downtown, and it spans 135 acres. Also a gem within this gem is that there are two presidents buried here. So the fifth president of the United States, James Monroe, and the 10th. John Tyler, and they're located right next to each other in the President's Circle. And also, if you're a history buff, this cemetery has the largest single burial location for Confederate soldiers. Welcome to the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts. Why this is a gym? There are many reasons because this is a very unexpected art museum, I feel. First of all, admission inside is completely free, so you can enjoy everything I'm about to show you free of charge. Opened in 1936, the permanent collection holds more than 35,000 works of art spanning 5,000 years of world history. Besides the stunning architecture and the amazing gardens, they also have a tea room called Floris and a restaurant called Amuse. So today I'm going to take you around the museum to some of my favorite pieces. Let's go. I think the best thing about the art museum is our Fabergé egg collection. Yes, Fabergé eggs from Russia. Apparently, Fabergé made all of these Easter eggs for the last two czars of Russia, and we have them here. Czar Nicholas II and his family, they even have like old picture frames and pictures of the family. The picture frames are even made by Fabergé, not just the eggs. So apparently, the czar got an Easter egg once from Fabergé, gave it to his wife, and she loved it so much, it was tradition, and then they did it from that day forward. There's hundreds of them, but there's five here, so they're really, really cool. The blue one's my favorite. We even have an amazing display of ancient Egyptian pieces. We have jewelry, and we have so many like pieces and statues from ancient Egypt. Like This piece is from 643 BC. B, C. This is the outer sarcophagus of Hor, 525 BC. Whoa, there is so much to see and it's just so cool. So I really love Art Nouveau and Art Deco, like furniture pieces. And this art museum literally has a collection. Louis Comfort Tiffany, you know, like Tiffany and Co. They used to do like lamps in the 1800s. The punch bowl is amazing. This is a Tiffany. It's made out of glass and silver and copper. All right, Lucas, which one's your favorite? because it's just so different from the rest. I think the dragonfly lamp is my favorite because the use of the wings and the color, but honestly, they're all gorgeous. Okay, so outside the museum, there's some really cool pieces, but it is really cold and really windy out there, so you'll never be able to hear me. They have a Dave Chuli, is that how you say the name? Mm -hmm. He does blown glass. They have one of his, it's called Red Reeds. And then there's also this really cool head called Chloe. And as you pass by the head, it's 3D, it like changes and follows you. It's really weird, but really cool. Anyways, I really love those pieces as well. Our next hidden gem is a coffee shop located in the museum district. This is called Pay, and it used to be a coffee cart, I guess you could say, ran by 220-somethings, and they just opened this brick and mortar. And the coolest part is that's a coffee shop attached to a vintage shop called Rexco. So it's kind of like a two for one, which is really cool. So let's go in, grab a latte, go shopping, experience the vibes. Taste test. Ooh, the really good amount of foam, which is sometimes difficult with oat milk. It's a little guy, it's so cute. It's so cozy because it's cold out, very good. Also they do this um, lemonade with espresso in it, right now anyways, and that's interesting. So if you've never had coffee with like a drink like lemonade, <laughs> definitely come here and try it. That's like their specialty. Also, you'll probably get to meet the owners. They're usually the ones that are working the register like today. So that's really cool too. But we're gonna like, you know, peruse the shop, see if there's anything we like. Oh my gosh, this uh, vintage store is such a vibe. It's got like that open concept with the brick and like the really earthy colors and really cool vintage stuff. And they also make some of their own line. These flannel jackets, are you kidding? This is 140. So like the prices here, I think are pretty on point with most vintage shops. I don't know, maybe I don't know. <laughs> Richmond, Virginia. 
Bass Masters. Boy Scouts of America. Shopping really tires you out. Good thing there's a coffee shop nearby to fuel back up. <laughs> okay, I may or may not have found something I need. Jorts, but also overalls. Um, I need to try these on. What do you think? Should I get these? Jorts slash overalls. They're cute. You can work in them. You can work in them, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hold on, I'm going to get a full shot. There we go. So I didn't end up getting the overalls. The leg area was just a little too tight for me. But anyways, those were $48. So like yeah. I said, I feel like it's a reasonably priced yeah. vintage shop. The coffee was really good. Everyone in there was so sweet. It really is a hidden gem. I don't know if there's anything else really exactly like it. Yeah. And just all around good time. Yeah. My next hidden gem is the Bird Theater. This is an opulent motion picture palace built in 1928. It's known for its stunning architecture and the fact that it's one of the very few remaining grand movie palaces of its era. Now they show classic films, which is part of the charm. This is one of my favorite things to do in Richmond. The interior is like stepping back in time. It gives you the feeling that you're back in like the 1920s and it is so gorgeous. I love the details and the 18 foot tall, two and a half ton chandelier. Tickets for movies are $8 each, which is pretty affordable. And before most shows, a local musician named Bob Gulledge plays the Wolitzer organ as it rises from the pit onto the stage. So you literally get like a show before the show. This is seriously a gem and a must do. Welcome to our last spot. This is the most exciting thing. It's one of our favorite things to do in Richmond to get proper pie company pies. <laughs> We are in Church Hill, and here there is the Proper Pie Company, which is a place that serves New Zealand hand pies. So they're basically savory or sweet pies, whichever one your heart desires, and they fit in your hand. They even have vegan options, so let's go find what they have today and get some pies. Secured the goods, now we're gonna go to the park to eat up. Okay, we are at the park. It's gorgeous, but it's super windy, and so you probably won't be able to hear us for the taste test, so we're gonna go back in the car for the official taste test. Oh my, it was crazy out there. but comes in a little bag that says, I'm vegan. Also, if you've ever seen this channel before, I've mentioned this place like what, in Same two other time. videos. <laughs> so here it is, it's a little hand pie, fits in your hand. Probably won't get any of the center in the first bite, but the crust is also delicious. So it's green bean and cheese, really random. Usually the flavors are slightly more better and appealing than that, but this is still delicious. Also the vegan cheese is really good. Um, there's veg in there, green beans, really, really good. I don't think I've ever been disappointed at proper pie. Other flavors we've gotten are like vegan chicken pot pie, vegan cheeseburger, vegan Philly cheesesteak, chili bean. So this one's kind of lower rung on our favorite flavor, but seriously, still good. So I feel like it's a hidden gem because they only make pie. And who doesn't love a little pie shop with tons of options, especially ones that have like vegan options. And a lot of people don't know about it. Seriously, every time we talk to people, they're like, there's a what? A pie shop? And we're like, yes, go to it. It's perfect in every way. I feel like this is the place we've eaten at the most since moving here. Definitely a hidden gem. Definitely stop by. And that is it for the video. I think the entire city is a hidden gem in my opinion because Richmond's underrated. But hey, that's cool. We can keep it that way. Let me know in the comments below if you've been to Richmond and if you know any other hidden gems or if you even found my hidden gems actually hidden. I'm curious because I just moved to Richmond. So like my perspective and point of view is sometimes different from those who are from here or have lived here a while. So let me know. And also up here, I have my playlist for all of my Virginia videos. And I'll see you all next weekend. Bye. Wait, there's a big wind situation. Holding, holding for the wind. The wind is nuts. Dude. Ah! Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. The hair, the wind. Oh my. <laughs> now the wind. Oh my God. I think you got it.